Commuters in Melbourne's southeast will be the first to benefit from 65 new high-capacity trains to be built in Victoria, creating more than a thousand jobs. It's a two billion dollar project designed to ease chronic overcrowding, and a new report proves it can't come soon enough. A workforce with a future. Mate, you're just jumping out of your skin at the moment. It's just. Magnificent. The 130-year-old Downer Rail Yards at Newport will be where much of the new high-capacity trains will be built. It could mean the rest of my career having a contract like this working in rail, so it's really exciting. The shell of the new trains will be built in China, but the Premier says 60% of the work will be done in Victoria. This is building trains by Victorians for Victorians. The new trains will be rolled out on the Pakenham Cranbourne line from 2019, with the Sunbury line to follow. They're longer than the current trains, meaning platforms will also have to be upgraded. And a new report shows there is a long way to go for our train system. The CanStar National Survey of Users rated Metro the worst in the country. Perth system received five stars, Melbourne's just three. 70% of users say they suffer regular overcrowding. 77% want more security. And just 42% of users feel safe at night. Well, we're always disappointed to see results like this because we take customer satisfaction very seriously. Metro says other independent surveys have actually found a big improvement in satisfaction in recent years, reflected by commuters at Flinders Street today. I'm a happy little Vegemite. <laughs> Laurel Irving, 7 News.